Alrighty YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. But I just picked up this brand new 2020 KX250F. Well, brand new to me that is at least. I got it last night for a super good deal that I couldn't resist. I know last video I was talking about I wanted to get a YZ250F or a Honda, but I ended up seeing this and I just couldn't pass up the deal. This bike's got 50 hours on it guys, all original hours, and I am the second owner of the bike. As you can tell too, the guy kept very good care of it. The plastics look pretty clean, just other than a few scratches, but that's really all I'm seeing. I can't wait to ride this thing guys. I got it last night and it was too dark by the time I came home, so I didn't get to ride it last night. So this will be my first ride on it, so you guys will get my first impressions of how I feel about the bike. But alright, enough of me talking, I really want to ride this thing, so I'm just going to hop on the bike and I'll continue talking once I get on the bike. All right, guys, let's see how this thing feels. Oh my gosh, this thing has so much torque. Holy shit. Oh yeah, this thing fucking rips. Holy fuck. This is by far the fastest 250 dirt bike I've ever rode. It is the newest one I've ever rode, but holy shit. Yeah, I think I already love this thing. This is my first fuel injected bike too. So that might uh, make a bit of a difference. It feels like every time I pull the throttle, it just wants the wheelie so hard. I will say the first thing that I do notice is that it's definitely a lot shorter in length than the YZ, but it's also a bit taller. So it feels a, a lot different. All right, let's go test this thing on the grass and see how it feels. The back tire's a little dull, so uh, I can't necessarily fully judge it how it is just because the tire is kind of fucked up already. Let's go down here and hit this little ditch jump that I always hit. First jump on the bike. Oh yeah. She's just floating. eventually need to get an electric bike because all the neighbors are going to eventually be just so done with me. Ooh, don't want to fly off into the lake now. This bike definitely is more top end power and the YZs are definitely more bottom end power. I noticed that for sure. But holy shit, this thing actually rips so hard. Let's go hit this little ditch. Yeah, that feels really good. Yeah, the back tire is just floating everywhere, or sliding everywhere, I should say. Definitely have to grab a new one of those. Guys, I can honestly say this is the most fun I think I've ever had on a dirt bike. This thing is too quick. Just pulls so hard, feels so smooth too. It's crazy. I do have to say too, I was a little worried about getting a Cowie just because they definitely have some mixed reviews, but now I have to say, I, I think I made a great choice. This thing is beautiful, sounds beautiful. I 
I do think this bike is a great addition to the channel though guys I think we're gonna have a ton of fun on this bike it is super snappy and super quick like I was saying this is definitely the most torquey snappy bike I have ever ridden and guys I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on my channel recently I know I've been saying that a lot in my videos recently but seriously though it, it helps me so much that you guys are showing support I'm on the road to trying to get a thousand subscribers and I am gonna have some sick trail riding videos for you guys coming real soon but now let's talk about upgrades that I want to do to this thing this thing is just barking though it's so loud I can barely even hear myself all right so the upgrades I want to do though to this bike the first things first is that I got to get a skid plate just so I can hit the trails and not have to worry about sticks hitting the engine or any of that crap the second thing that I do want to do is I want to get some white uh, plastics for this thing I think it would just look so clean and all white um, I know it can get dirty really fast but I'll keep up with it so it should look pretty solid if I just always wash it I know it's easier said than done but that's the plan Last night I did do an oil change on this and I checked out the air filter. The air filter is not horrible. I'll just have to clean it after the ride today. And then I also did put a new clutch on it because the clutch lever was broken. Where should we go? Really the only complaint I see people saying about this bike is that when you stall it, sometimes it's a bitch to turn back on. Which is, uh, I don't know, that's kind of all four strokes in general though, right? Oh my god, this thing is just so fucking fast. Let's rip through that real quick. Hopefully there's no cops around. But yeah, guys, I ended up getting this bike for less than $4,000, which in my opinion is a really good uh, deal, for, especially for the Midwest right now. All used bikes are just so expensive for no reason. So to find this new of a bike for less than 4K uh, was a great deal in my opinion. I believe my one homie is going to be getting a bike really soon as well too so I'll be able to post videos with him on the channel and that would definitely make for some better videos with both of our perspectives and everything so if you've seen if you're watching this right now get that bike ASAP bro so we can start doing that my neighbors are not gonna like this bike this bike might be louder than the YZ anyone coming over here yeah she looks pissed <laughs> but oh my gosh guys first impressions of this thing are great i actually love it i think i already kind of like it more than the yz which is crazy I'm sorry but guys I also did want to mention that 98% of my viewers right now are not subscribed so if you have made it this far in the video and you're enjoying it please drop a sub that helps me out a ton like I was saying earlier let me know in the comments where you guys want me to bring this thing to next I have a uh, local trails that I'm gonna try to go to but they're still pretty wet like I was saying in the last video um, but I'm assuming in the next week or two they should be dried up just because we've been getting some decent weather now That's my homie Brandon's crib right there This thing definitely revs out more at the top of the gear than the, the YZ the YZ was definitely like more like mid mid gear It would start to bark a lot and want to be shifted Damn, they're going so slow. Oh my gosh, look at that turn. Speed demon. But all right guys, I'm gonna make my way back to the house. I'm gonna go to the Kawasaki store, grab that spring, grab that skid plate, so that next video or the video after that, I can go hit some trails and not have to worry about the engine getting all fucked up. But all right guys, until next time, peace out.